I'm a great white shark, but you probably guessed that about me already. And I bet I know what you're thinking. Here's another video about great white sharks, hunting, breaching, eating, doing all the things you'd expect from my reputation as the most fearsome apex predator in the ocean. But that's not always the case. In fact, most of the time, things are pretty different. Today, I want to take a moment to show you a more realistic picture of what being a great white shark is all about. So, without further ado, let me show you around. Welcome to Plettenberg Bay, South Africa. Pretty nice, right? This coastal summer holiday town is located smack dab on the bottom of the African continent. And despite being located right on the open ocean, the bay is often calm and clear with flat sandy bottoms. That's all thanks to this beauty right here, Broberg Nature Reserve. This short peninsula shelters the bay from the prevailing swell that rolls in uninterrupted from Antarctica. In the bay, there is a variety of tasty wildlife from three delicious whale species to the ever-irritating bottlenose and humpback dolphins, and some other yummy smaller snacks. It's the coolest place to hang out, with tons of rocky bays and inlets to swim through and investigate, and search for the main event and the reason we're all here in the first place. Seals. Lots and lots of seals. And thanks to your conservation efforts, this colony has grown to become one of the newest local eateries in town. Speaking of, let's clear something up first. This right here, that is nowhere near as common or as easy as you think. Welcome to Behind the Scenes where Lethal Predator is more like a hangry toddler who can't seem to make their food go in their mouth. Except it's way harder when your food is alive and bites back. I know, some of us make catching these guys look easy. Think again. Imagine you're calmly strolling around the produce section, eyeballing some juicy apples, when all of a sudden the apples start launching themselves at you and can bite back. Even our baby food can give us grief when we're not even interested. Behind the scenes part two, meet Lichia amia, otherwise known as the Garrick. These fish are so rude. The second they see us, they swim right up to our tails and use our skin to clean themselves of parasites and any sort of dirt. Um, leave me alone, dude. Yeah, great white sharks, we get annoyed too. Oh. And it's not just by our food, oh no. Believe it or not, we too get harassed by our fans and the paparazzi. Just like you get startled by a loud sound racing towards you out of nowhere, so do we. Hey, don't get me wrong. Sometimes it's really cool to meet your fans. Sometimes it's really chilled, like right here. But. Just like you, we great white sharks, we like our personal space, even from each other. Okay, especially from each other. But we have some fun sides too. We are crazy curious sharks. And some of that stuff you humans leave around catches our eye. Like these underwater camera stations. The floats on these things are awesome. I swear, unless I'm really on a mission to the kitchen, I'll always take a moment to check one of these babies out. Like right here, seals abound, but this whole contraption was way more interesting. I mean, look at this selfie. So going on my LinkedIn. So what's the takeaway here? We're complicated. Sometimes we're interested in you. Then other times, not so much. Sometimes we are voracious eaters, or at least curious. And sometimes mm, we're picky. The point is, there's a lot more to great white sharks than you'd think. You just gotta look a little deeper beneath the surface. That's all for now, though. I can't give away too many secrets. Anyway, thanks for taking some time to let me show you around. See you next time, friends.